What's going on, bro? Welcome back to another video. We're going to get to What's our first pick here? Atali? Sneakums? You ever heard of Sneaky Jiggy? This is his cousin. True name nemesis. Trav Storm. No, I'm actually trying to have some fun, so I'll pass. I like Sneak Attack. I like True Name. I like Atali. Love a Fallen Shinobi. You know what I'm saying? They definitely did not come back and say, hey, I'm a big fan. I was watching the stream, but paused it when I saw we been paired up. No, they literally showed up in the stream for the first time ever in our first round. Never said a word. And after I called them out, they disappeared from the stream. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. This is just another opportunity to draft a cat deck for me. Where? Where's the cat? I don't see any cat. Oh, shit. We got eight seconds. We're fucking around too much. Uh, fuck. I'm going to take Fallen Shinobi. No. Sneak attack. Yes. Yes. Whew, we did it. Oh, God. I think I messed up, but it's okay. We're taking Mox Diamond. It's a good one. I don't know if this was right. I'll be honest. Dinosaurs are more like birds than cats. Speaking of which, I'm considering getting a bird. So, you know. I could have a bird that just hangs out with me while I stream in the future. Um, Volcanic Island is probably correct here. Islands, Xander's Lounge is also pretty sweet, but I don't think I can pass a duel for a try, especially this, this high quality of a duel. Like a parrot? Yes, exactly. Literally a parrot. Or an emu. <laughs> well, so here's the thing, man. Birds are a lot. Likely will outlive me. Here's the thing. I originally wanted a crow or a raven because they're fucking awesome. They're super smart. But not only does Katie not love the idea, neither does the law. They are illegal to own due to the mig the, the, the mig it's the migration or the migratory act. Apparently crows like to migrate and they need to be, they need to fly great distances to feel content. So I get it. Crows, you're not meant for me. I understand. <clears throat> I think it's just Oliphant here. Then, you know, I kind of wanted maybe a falcon, an eagle, you know, a bird of prey, a cool bird of prey, right? That would be nice. Let me tell you about that. That didn't work either. Apparently there's other limitations for birds of prey. You can't have them. They're not meant for, for pets. I get it. I respect that a lot of animals are not meant to be pets. I get it. Totally understand. So I started looking into parrots. Then I was like, macaws are fucking cool. They're huge. They're really colorful. They're super smart. They can talk. Have you ever heard of Macaw? Holy Jesus, they are so loud. I want this Gruff's Triplets to go with Necromancy, but I kind of also like, or to go with Sneak Attack. But I also like Necromancy, but I'm going to take the Triplets because Necromancy is a lot of work, you know? We could have Michael just wear a beak, but I kind of want a smart, a big, a really, a really smart animal, you know? <laughs> oh, we have a good time. I kind of like Cryptic Command and maybe taking the mana for it. I think Bitter Bitter Triumph is great. I guess we could just take like Wall of Roots and be like Red Green Sneak. We could also be Black Green Sneak and just splash something. Oh, you can tell him I said that. He'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. I want to take Cryptic. That feels weird, but that's okay. Look, we get a storm carved coast. Look how rewarded we got. Could have taken it. Look, could have gotten a Rafelos there. Ulamog? We're living the dream. I've no Atali came back. Ah, love it. Friggin' love it. We could take a Kogla. Coca Kogla. Yeah, sure. I actually like this guy a lot, and I'm kind of tempted to just sneak this guy in. And then reveal the top card. You may put a creature card or a land and or a land from among them onto the battlefield. 
Goldspan Dragon also good. So is Flame Slash. I think we're just taking Goldie instead. Oh, Nature's Claim and Gary. We might just be green. I mean, the lands might be kind of messed up. Could also just be Nature's Claim. Nature's Claim is pretty good. Easily splashable. Okay, I'll Nature's Claim. <clears throat> so yeah, Macaws, gorgeous birds, super cool, very big. I like big birds too, because they're kind of like dinosaurs. They're super cool. But anyway, I'm a beginner bird. I'd be a beginner bird owner, so I don't want to get anything like that I can't handle. So the what we ended up looking at, the, the thing I, I did a bunch of research on, and I think that we're leaning towards is the Pionis parrot. Um they're a little pricier because they're more rare, but they're like the perfect chill parrot. They don't require a ton of attention, which a lot of parrots require a ton of attention because they're so smart that, that that if they get bored, they get really stressed and then they start plucking or they start getting sick. So you really need to like pay attention to parrots. Um, oh, wow. I was really hoping all of roots come back. I think we're just going to, oh my God. Yeah, we're just green red. I mean, these lands are great, but this is Emrakul. Fantastic. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what we wanted. Not to be morbid, but perhaps start with a bird that's already dead, just to get the routine down of feeding them and cleaning their cage. <laughs> I mean, I've owned animals before. Harry, I took care of it. <laughs> oh, definitely take an Emrakul. Sounds good. I like a braid here. Our pet's heads are falling off. Uh, so pioneer parrots don't talk a ton. They're not super chatty, which I'm I'm fine with. I don't, I'm not just using I'm not just using them to be like a chatty a chatty bird. They're fairly quiet. They don't have a super loud screech. Um, they like being in your presence though, because a lot of parrots, a lot of birds are flock animals, so they just want to be close to you. So like a lot of times they can just chill with you, and that counts as like attention for them. Wow, I can't believe we got that last pick, Rafellos. That's un, un that's obscene. And now we have Natural Order or Primeval Titan. <sighs> Start with the Phoenix. If it dies, you get a second chance. Oh, man. Well, I tear apart my really bad commander deck. I'm going to take the Natural Order. I think it has much higher upside, especially because we have Gruffs and, and Kogla right now. And I really just don't need another 6 drop, I don't think. I'll take a Ren and 6. We're discarding with Mox Diamond, and we could easily get some fetches. I feel like our red-green deck's coming together. Also, Pionis Parrots are like the perfect middle ground. Let's take Show and Tell, because we do are able to easily splash it off of these two and Mox. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty decent for us. And now we can just play these. Um, they're like, the, I wanted a bigger bird because I want something like, I want a hardier bird. Like parakeets are cute, but they're really tiny and like, you know, so how many pets do you have? We have, so my turtle passed away like a year and a half ago, about maybe a year ago. I think it was last year. Um, so probably half, a half a year ago, actually. Um, that was really sad and didn't like that. Currently we have a ball python a bearded dragon, both of which were Katie's idea. <clears throat> so a ball python came into the hospital one time and she got to scan it. And she was like, ball pythons are so cool. Can we get a ball python? And I was like, sure. Channel. <laughs> and flash. Wow. That's interesting. We already have Emrakul and Ulamog. Yeah, we're taking channel for sure, bro. This deck is coming together. This pack's not so great. Manamorphos lets us splash show until a little easier. It also just digs us to our cards. This might be the first deck where I actively want to try Manamorphos. So yeah, she wanted to get a ball python. I thought it was funny. Then she also wanted to get a bearded dragon. She was like, bearded dragons are really smart and they're they're like a they can hang out with you. Like it's kind of a cool reptile. So I was like, sure, let's get a bearded dragon. 
Like, I'm not one to say no to pets because I love animals. So, there's a Glorybringer. There's a Dak Faden. That also feels splashable. Is her Fellows is looking worse? God, do I care about X? We already have Ren and Six. Exploration might be correct here. Especially if we get fetches. I'm going to take exploration. This doesn't feel correct for me, but it feels correct right now. I'm going to take Blightsteel because of the channel. Whether we play it, I don't know. <clears throat> so we have a ball python. I'm going, to, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get through this eventually. Don't worry. Titan of Industry. We can natural order that or sneak attack it, and it's pretty decent. Um... I mean, with Channel Blight Steel, it is, yeah. Okay, Ball Python, Bearded Dragon, three dogs, and a cat. So we have six six animals in our hat right in our in our house right now. They're not in our hat. They're in our house. Nissa. Oh, Gruel Turf. Let's take a Gruel Turf. That's especially good with exploration. And I do want a land that like fixes. I'm gonna try to show you, I'm showing you guys a picture of the Pionis parrot. Spelunking is interesting, especially if we get, eh, sure, eh, sure, eh, sure. Okay, this is gone, this is gone. Spelunking is likely gone, Pyromancer I don't care about. The lifespan of the Pionis parrot's probably, like, I think it's like 30 to 50 years. It says 25 years, but I think it's more than that. Even 25 is still a lot. This is the Pionis parrot. This is the blue-headed Pionis parrot. He's very cute. And they have like these red tail feathers in the back. Uh, Scalding Tarn seems probably like the best pick for us here. I like Fable a lot. Oh, fucking there's Fable in here. I feel like we kind of have to... There, I, uh, the gr I don't know if there is just a straight green-headed one. Here, look, this is the this is the types of Pionis parrots. Let's look at this together. We'll look at it together. <sighs> Cradle's fine, but we don't have the creatures to support it. Like, we literally have two two drops and an eternal witness. Like, we don't have any creatures to actually get mana off of off of Cradle. <laughs> I'd much rather have Scalding Tarn to go with Renin Six. Fable's fantastic, but I just... Uh, like, this also gets a blue source for us, which is kind of a big deal. Strip Mine is tempting, especially with Ren and Six. So is Wondering. Wondering is just good. Alright, so these are the types of Pionis parrots. The blue-headed one is my favorite, I think. This is white-capped. He's got a little white spot on his little head. This is a red bill. This is the Maximilian. He's got kind of a scaly head. They're also kind of, I think they're known as scaled Pionis. The Dusky does look like a hawk, and Katie said that same thing because of the brown coloration. But yeah, they're pretty cool. <sighs> Delighted Halfling is an option. I think it's Strip Mine. Like with Exploration and Renin 6, like if we can get like... Oracle, two lands a turn? Hmm, that's pretty decent. <clears throat> I'll take an Oracle, sure. Well, I, I doubt we're, I actually doubt we're gonna hit another fetch land in this, this late in the game. Cityscape Leveler is kind of sweet. I think I'd rather just have like regular three drop. It also, it makes our natural order better because then we can actually sacrifice prismatic vista is actually pretty good here <clears throat> i do like that a lot carry added's good land or elves is good i think i kind of want to lean into the double lands and the renin six here i bet one of the ramp creatures comes back in that pack that would be cool i'll take a ragavan <laughs> i can still turn one ragavan that's totally fine and then we and we get wasteland jeez 
mean, we're just going to play like <sighs> infinite forests and then like wasteland gold turf strip. Man, I mean, this is going to be. I don't even know if we play Rafellos. I guess Rafellos is still good, even if you have like two forests. Yeah, I'll take Wasteland here. Sure, what the hell? I don't think any of these cards are particularly good. I'll take the Unlicensed Hearse. All right. I mean, I wish we got like a Crucible. I think we passed Crucible, and I also think we passed. I don't know if we passed Ramunap. Kaya's Cradle came back. Hilarious. I kind of like Proving Ground here because it lets us search for a green source off of off of our Scalding Tarn, which we don't currently have. Like, I still don't think we have the means to be cradling, so that's unfortunate. Um, Delighted Halfling. Delighted Halfling does not let us cast Channel or Rafellos. Oh, it does let us cast Rafellos. Not Channel, though. Is Tribe Elder just better? No, I still think I want to have the one drop. Prismatic Omen, huh? Sure. <clears throat> this is 25. Always be cradling. It feels weird to pass a cradle, but like, again, we have like three creatures before turn three. I don't know, just not... Oh, Cityscape Leveler just comes back. Great. Get everything you want. Also, Oliphant getting Zeotor's Proving Ground, getting a green source is nice, which we did not have access to previously. Could also just cut Show and Tell, but it feels really good when we have Emrakul, Ulamog, Blightsteel. And even a Tali, or... This guy. Oh, wow. <coughs> I might just cut Rafellos. I think Rafellos is kind of hindering our... I'm going to take the Llanowar Elf here. I think it's just better. I think I might... No, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to cut Rafellos here. Llanowar Elves and Delighted Halfling are both great for natural order too, so that's that's a little bit nicer. I might cut Oliphant. Oh, we can cut Manamorphos here. We can cut Oliphant here. I don't think we're a Ragavan deck. We can definitely cut one of these guys. I think it's Cityscape Leveler. <laughs> a sub for each game one on turn two where you cast a channel and win to a scoop. Man, that would be... I think all three of these are better for channel. I also think they're better for sneak attack. I think... I think Blightsteel is better for channel, but Cityscape Leveler is probably better for sneak attack because you get the trigger. But if they don't have anything, Blightsteel just kills them. Thrift and Mitch, this is Sentinel. Uh, whenever it attacks or enters the battlefield, you get a map token. It's a 3-4 three, for three. It's pretty good. Right, Leveler is more beatable. I mean, like, I've definitely killed a bunch of these. Blightsteel is harder to deal with, for sure. Honestly, I don't know if I care about exploration. No, I kind of do, don't I? <sighs> Yeah, this card's been great. I, I have also been impressed with this. Whether you're just getting map tokens and making it like a 5-6 on turn two. <laughs> like, or on, on its second turn, rather. There's a lot of big creatures on the top end here. But that's okay, because we can get three of these with natural order. We have channel, we have sneak attack, we have show and tell. I think we're doing all right here. I do need one cut. I could see boarding in Kogla. Okay, I like it. Because this guy kind of does the same thing.
Is Kogla better than Titan of Industry? I kind of think it is. Reach and Trample. You don't have that, but like you get to it. This kills an artifact every turn or an enchantment. And then fighting a creature is kind of big where you can't do that with Titan of Industry. Yeah, I kind of like Kogla better than Titan, even though it's just a little bit smaller. You can get a 4-4 four four out of this guy, but I feel like if you're just like Koglaing, it doesn't really matter. Oh man, this mana base is going to be something something special. Okay, sort by color. Yes, bring all of these in, I imagine. <clears throat> Vista, Tarn, Strip Mind, Wasteland. We got all the all the hits here. Okay, so red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can definitely go down to seven here. Blue, I do want an island because we have Prismatic Vista. Six, seven, eight. So we can add another one of these. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 green. That feels pretty good. And it's still seven red plus Mox Diamond. All right. All the big shits are going in this one pile here. Plus Goldspan Dragon ramps us a little bit. Uh, I don't think they're too risky, especially because we have like Renin Six and we can just discard them to Mox Diamond if it's like that bad. Like, I don't, I don't think it's, I think it's risky to cut them. <laughs> we'll see. You gotta be the evil that you wish to see in the, that's not a, that's terrible. That's not a saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's see what it can do. <coughs> no, I didn't take ring. I took, um... What did I take over ring? It was in like... I actually forgot. Lands you control enter untapped. I don't hate that for like Zeotor's Proving Ground or the other one. Gruel Turf. All right. Did I take Strip Mine over the ring? Wow, that's so unlike me. Okay. Um, You know what? I'll give it a shot. Turn one exploration would be sick. Into Gruel Turf. <laughs> Gruffs triples. Triply dipplies. Savannah Island. Staff of the Storyteller. Thopter Foundry. Aura in. What do we discard here? Probably Blight Steel. Um, great question. We have one mountain in the deck and seven forests. Of course, we draw the mountain. Um,. Yeah, I think we can pitch Blight Steel here. <clears throat> we only need one of these guys. Hear me out. <laughs> oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I still want to hear you out, though. Are we going to go Stoneforge for Sword of the Meek? That would be pretty good. Thanks for going on the parrot journey with me, guys. Really appreciated it. Hex Drinker. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yep. It's going to be a pass for me, boys. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Five next turn? All right. <clears throat> well, we can cast. If we draw a forest, we're in good shape. He said. 
One forest off the top. No counter spell for my opponent. That's all we need. Yeah, that's fine. I will not let you draw a card. Two bottom? No. Yes. That's what I need. Channel. Forest. That That's not a forest, <clears throat> unfortunately. So now we have one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five mana. That's not six mana, so we can't cast this guy, this guy, this guy. I guess we can Mox Diamond and cast Show and Tell. Let's do that. Oral, thank you for the resub, my dude. It's been real. That's like what you say after you're just leaving. You know, you're like, all right, man, I'll see you later. P -p -p Peace out. Do we Show and Tell Ulamog or do we Show and Tell Kogla? to fight their hexy boy. Two, three, four. Next turn we can just eternal witness back. I'm actually gonna do Kogla because it kills that and then it can start literally killing everything else on his board. So, you know. That seems good. <clears throat> Spelly boy. If they go get time walk, play land, I'm going to be real sad. Just don't do that, you know? Mystical tutor. That's fine. I will block. I will trade. I can see them attacking and then sacrificing the Thopter Foundry to trade with Kogla. Oh, we kill Palantir. Oh, um, yeah, we kill Palantir because I don't think we're going to have... I don't want to, like, spend the four mana to kill the, the Kappa Cannon here. That is what they're going to do. Yeah, I'm just blocking here. I think. Oh, they're just going to make it unblockable. They're going to they're just going to do the job for me. Okay. Sure. But now they can't mystical tutor. Huh. Well, if we hit one land, we get to go Eternal Witness, Show and Tell. At 10, I don't think we're gonna, we don't think we're gonna, oh yes, that was the land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could just Eternal Witness, Show and Tell. I mean, Kappa Cannoneer seems a little scary here. If we had eight mana, we could actually play Eternal Witness, bounce Eternal Witness. Yeah, I think we, God, we might have to get rid of this guy, right? <clears throat> yeah, because if they literally just go time warp, they just kill us with their stupid idiot. I guess we would have had... Let's get show and tell back. We're going to be telling and showing <clears throat> and showing and then telling again. Like their big hindrance here is mana. Like they have four mana. So if they do they they're in their main phase. So they didn't get they didn't get time walk. They didn't attack either. Okay.
One on top, one on bottom. Yeah, draw a card. I don't care. That's fine. I don't want you to do it. That could be another... That's interesting. How much mana is that? If we if we get a green source, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could literally play both of these. That's pretty good. They're just taking it. Let's crack this for a green. See if they want to counter this, which looks like they do. Oh, they're going to Mystical Tutor for something. <coughs> what did they get? Life from the Loam. That's fascinating. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Wow. Okay. Well, I feel like we're fine. Unless they go like Elspeth jump their Blightsteel, in which case, yep, they're going to do that. Wow, did I just give them the game because of... That's fine. Kogla just kills the treachery, so like they have to do whatever they're going to do with four mana. <clears throat> like, we can easily just block this with one of the Gruff's triplets. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, that seems fine. Now we have two six six tramples. Wait, what happened? Oh, because it, it got infect, so it doesn't actually trigger. That's that makes sense. Two blockers would have been would have been smart. I mean, I didn't want to risk Thank it though. You. Like I don't want to lose two guys when they're at seven. Like, this feels like a win, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got it. I was like, I don't think you got this many answers, man. Antibody, thank you for the... For the... Uh, <laughs> Antibody. It did not pop. I was like, Antibody gifted five subs, but they're not subbed. What's going on? Uh, definitely bringing in Nature's Claim. That seems like a good one. Titan of Industry might just be better than Gruff's Triplets because of its, its ability to get rid of artifacts. So let's do that. Did we see any unlicensed her shenanigans? I don't think so. We didn't see like Snapcaster or anything. Now we have a Braid, um, Kogla, Titan of Industry, and Nature's Claim. That feels pretty good against an artifact-based deck. Life from the Loam. Literally life from the Loam. Yeah, good call. Good call. They didn't cast it, so, like, my brain didn't... I'm going to take Exploration out and probably just submit 41. <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. Let's keep this at Zeotaurus Proving Ground, and then we have Channel in case we draw one of our big three. <clears throat> Come on, big three. They mulled the six comfortable with it my people call it life from shalom <laughs> okay all right Ian.
Yield until the end step. Beautiful. Show and tell. Natural order, huh? Let's get busy, Herson. <clears throat> oh, really? You're going to strip mine my land. Brutal. Brutal. Well, not great, Bob. Much better. All right. <clears throat> well, we're still alive. Oh, yeah, they're doing all kinds of land shenanigans. Do you think next turn they're going to play the thing? Storm Carved Coast. Okay. Well, that's good. Boy, this, this channel would be nice eventually, you know? Do you think they're just going to untap play Dark Depths? Wouldn't that be something? They're going to copy our forest. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Let's see. Uh, strip mine. There's a strip mine under the hearse, yeah. Okay. Kind of tempted to kill this guy, so I will. Huh. Well, if they have blight steel in hand, this is pretty rough. But if they don't, <clears throat> I think we got to do something here. We don't have extra lands. Also, if they put an artifact into play, we get to Titan of Industry it. Oh, they didn't put anything into play. Uh, create a 4-4... Four, four. Put a shield counter on a creature. What does a shield counter do? If it's dealt damage, it doesn't die? Yeah, I guess we're just gaining five. Yeah, they might have treachery. Although I feel like you would have put treachery into play there and then taken my guy, right? Yeah, this guy's just never that impressive to me. Do you like that they don't have treachery mana? Timeo. Timeo. <laughs> That's not her name at all. What do you think they're naming? I mean, if we draw like an Eldrazi, we still have a pretty good game here. They have a Gruff's Triplets as well. Oh, sort of a meek.
Yeah, Hurst doing some work here, man. Uh, let's exile up to two cards. We'll get your sword and your forest. <laughs> if we get one more land, we can start casting things. Tamio, your face. I guess we'll pass because we have no fourth land. Okay, we just win the match. Great. Show and tell gets the job done. Yeah, that would have been a great draw. Fantastic. Good times. All right. Well, I'm satisfied. What did they name? Great question. Let's find out. We don't think we can find out. It's too late. Hide game log. Oh, okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> they named uh, Oko Thief of Crowns. So that's pretty good. Yeah, there weren't many things they could get on that turn to help them. Oh, dear. <sighs> Two lands, but we have some playables. I'll keep this. A blue source and show and tell is good. Channel is obviously phenomenal. Delighted halfling on turn one is good. This lets us play any land into Sentinel, whereas Proving Ground does not. So this doesn't let us play turn two channel, but I'm I'm banking on drawing a land on turn two rather than a, a channel. Oh, they missed the second land drop? No, they didn't. They had a good land. That's nice. <coughs> That's good value. Do we get a land as well? Kind of, yeah, okay. It's untapped, I accept. It's also a blue source if we happen to draw show and tell. All right. <laughs> you gotta bet on those 31 to one odds. You're not wrong. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six mana, okay. Yeah, that guy's good. That guy is Gaguchi. If we hit a land, we probably natural order into like... I don't know, Kogla? And just kill the Primeval Titan? That seems bad. Mountain. We could also get... Man, I wish a shield token wasn't just damage. I wish it was like... I guess we don't have Titan. Titan's in the sideboard. I guess it's just Kogla kill Primeval Titan and we're just trading off Sentinel. That doesn't seem great, but like... Honestly, Sentinel's not doing much here. And I really don't want them to... I guess we could trade off Delighted Halfling. That actually seems a little better. We lose the land, but I don't think we're winning on land. I think we need, like, Channel, Emrakul, get Kogla. Fight this guy. Get another map. And now we're winning the race. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight mana. What could they do with eight mana, you know? Nine mana. What's that? What even, what even, who cares about nine mana? Okay, there's a lot of mana you're tapping. It's having eight. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're killing this guy instead of Mox Diamond. I would have killed Mox Diamond 100% of the time. Ha <laughs> ha, there she blows. <laughs> ah, ha 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 ha. 
I like the way you die, boy. What are they at? 15 exactly? Big Mama's coming through. They didn't even they didn't even wait to see what we had. That's interesting. What if I had nothing? Huh. Wow. That was interesting that they didn't even let us activate it. I mean, what if I had like worm coil engine, right? Like that's really weird to scoop there. Like, unless you like, that's so weird. I'm really confused by that. Since they don't want to see them, <laughs> you don't care about my fatties. Um, yeah, I think we just submit like this. I don't think, like we saw a bunch of mana dorks. They had a good opening. Oh. Fascinating. I will keep this. Okay. I like it. It's not it's not very bad, is it? The only thing that makes this better is if this guy turns into his his big sister or his mother. I don't know. I don't know Eldrazi uh, family lines. I don't know the lineage. Are they even related? Shoot, I don't know. God, I sound like an idiot. Crack it. They didn't crack it. <clears throat> so turn three Emrakul and by it's followed by a turn two Emrakul. Interesting. Do I care about that? Do we just show and tell? Or do we sneak attack? They have five cards. They haven't played anything. They have this guy. Uh, Ula cannot kill what they play for a couple reasons. For one, like it's when you cast this, Eldrazi or the, the Eldrazi Titans are always cast triggers. Never enters the battlefield triggers. Um. So if they go like crack this, play a land, like treachery, it's pretty bad. I don't know if they have that. Our last opponent did. I think we just play sneak attack here. And kind of like bait them into doing something about it, maybe. Okay, they didn't do anything. I just feel like I don't know enough about their deck right now. To feel comfortable to just show and tell. Especially because they're playing like a lot of... They're playing Cityscape Leveler... Which I don't think does much. That's also a cast trigger. Plus the attack trigger wouldn't be able to destroy Ulamog. I'm pretty sure Cityscape Leveler is destroy, right? Yeah, it's destroy. So that would not do it. Oh, they're just digging. Well, don't mind that. Oh yeah, this is just fine. Now we're just gonna, now we're just gonna. Let's get rid of this thing. I'll tap it in response. They didn't, okay, so they're just tapped out. They have no permanence. It's really sad to see. 
This is an Ula mug. It has Annihilator 4, not 3. Do all Eldrazi have even Annihilators? I think it's 2, 4, and 6, right? I don't think there's a 3 or a 5, right? <clears throat> they could Solitude. I would be surprised. This does not look like a deck with a high concentration of white cards. Oh, there is an Annihilator 1. Okay. Is it just Sponsire? Is Sponsire the only one? Who's all going to Scryfield and looking up Annihilator? Shame scooped after I thought Mox Diamond was a land until just after I clicked on Sentinel. Okay, so they, they should have taken the Mox Diamond, but they accidentally took Sentinel because they thought Mox Diamond was a land. That makes much more sense. I, I feel I feel better about that. Okay, well we're 204 all right now, so what can go wrong, you know? We're in the prime of our lives. Okay, we're going to look up Scryfall, and we're going to look up Text Annihilator. So we got two. The Eldrazi token that is made by... <laughs> I guess it's only made, made by Hedron Fields of Agadim, which is a plane. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's Eldrazi token as Annihilator 1. Two, six, two... Hand of Emrakul has Annihilator 1. So the Lesser Eldrazi has, has a, have, have Annihilator 1. It that betrays is 2. Kozilek is 4. Nazgul Battle Mace gives Annihilator? That seems weird. I don't like that... I don't like that the, the Lord of the Ring cards give Annihilator. I feel like that should be an, an exclusive Eldrazi ability. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Turn one elf, turn two Rafellos strip mine. Wait with the channel and the Rafellos. Let me just wait. Conscription gives two. I actually top four to PTQ with an Eldrazi Conscriptions deck and Sovereigns of Lost Alara, so I, I have fond memories of that. Oh wow, you're gonna strip mine us? You little dirty biscuit. You old so-and-so. All we need is something to channel. Oh, that's so good. God damn. Ruffs triplets. We are literally one mana away from tripleting. That's really unfortunate. We could go two for channel. Do we just do we just give them the business? I think we just give them the business and if we stripped mind. Sure. Yeah, I mean, like, this is kind of like, I think we're just going to strip their, their land now so that they're kind of stuck. I guess we're just playing the strip mine game. Let's play the strip. 
game. I love you. Yeah, we have we have strip mine and Ren too, so you know. I guess if you want to keep doing that. They just want to keep doing it. Alright. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Nice. So we're going to go Mountain Delighted Halfling. Attack Renums and Sixums. This guy is not legendary, so we cannot add a green through Delighted Halfling. I'm hoping this is more of bait so that they strip mine this. Because if they're going to, like, if we can attack Ren with both creatures, they might just actually kill the Llanowar Elves this turn. Yeah, that's what I figured they'd do. <laughs> but now they're, like, fairly far behind on lands. Eternal Witness getting back Raffello seems decent. We could have also gotten back Strip Mine and then Strip Mined one of their lands. Because that's what they like, you know? That's what they're fans of. One, two, and then we have two. Yeah, I'm just getting Strip Mine back. Like, should have played it this turn. I, I think if I... Oh, we didn't have the second green for it, so no, that wasn't an option. We, we needed the second green for the Strip Mine, so... Oh, look who it is. It's your boy. Three in 27 chance of drawing one of our big fat idiots. There's one of them. <laughs> Hi -o. Uh, We'll go blue. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that good enough? Oh, okay. Just good. Got it. <laughs> oh, Emrakul. You old sassy rascal, you. <sighs> yeah, you know how Emrakul Emer can't be countered naturally? Double uncounterable. I don't really feel like we... Like, I don't... We literally just saw Ren and Six strip mine a bunch and then Ramunap. If any of these cards killed Ramunap, I'd be down for them, but... <sighs> All right. Last round. Last... last Could be potentially last game. Oh, Hearst could have been good. Good call. Smart. Oh, this is an interesting hand. I don't think it's a bad hand, though. If we hit Channel or show and tell i think this hand is actually sick or on the draw they went to six i'm gonna i'm gonna risk it it's terrible it's a terrible hand but we have two good cards in our deck that really shine here also sneak attack we can get a red here and sneak attack as long as we survive and i think it's very very possible we have three cards Exploration. Nice. So now we have Oracle. Now we're three out of 32. One in 10. Over 10 per... No, it's like one in... Yeah, it's a little less than one in 10, right? They could just have a handful of lands. Who knows?
Yep, that's a good dude. All right. That makes our game a little easier, right? They have one card in hand. Okay. Oracle. We have an exploration. I don't want that. Let's just get a mountain here. Renin six, I do kind of want that. This is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. This is nine mana. No, this is four, eight, nine, ten mana. If we hit any land, we can just hard cast Ulamog. We can also play Renin six to Prismatic Vista and get a second forest, which breaks even. It's not terrible. It was, oh man, I was going to brag, but then. How high can you type in Mavis Beacon? Boy, they're really tanking on this flooded strand. All grizzle, no sizzle. Is that what they say? What's this? What's the what's the blank something? No sizzle. What's the what's the saying? Or do they say all sizzle, no something else? Is the sizzle the bad part? <sighs> all hat, no cattle. That does. <laughs> It's not like it's not like someone who's all sizzle no substance. I don't know. This is the hardest flooded strand I've ever seen someone decide on. Is Magic Online crashing again? Because next turn we're gonna have a good time. They could be looking through the deck to see their outs. Every time there's a delay of this caliber, I go to look in the chat and I'm like, did you just join the stream to see what's going on? Remember that time we kept like six, five lands to, to Eldrazi? I can't strand how long they've been thinking. <laughs> please, please leave. Okay, Sacred Foundry. Comes into play tapped, you got it. Get in there with that Dryad. Oh, they lost the connection and they joined the game. They DC'd.
dude, was it Super Fist that just got Monkey Wrench stuck in my head? Who the fuck was that? Yeah, it's Super Fritz. You son of a rascal. Uh, okay, so right now, we get to play two lands. We don't get to draw a card, though. So we can Ren in six, play this Prismatic Vista first to see if there's another land on top. There was not... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're just shy, unfortunately, from doing anything this turn. This is eight, nine. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. If we tapped Delighted Halfling instead of Forest, we'd be at 10. So, not the best. We'll give them one more draw step, I guess. How are we at 10? I don't think we're at 10. Am I like, do I, not know how to, do I just not know how to count? One. This is, oh, this is five and this is, could we have done it if we actually played it off of Halfling? So if we played, if we paid these two, no, because the Rafelos doesn't change, the Forest does. Yeah, we would just be subbing one for one. For some reason, I'm kind of counting it like it's Nissa mana, right? Like this makes two, this makes two, this makes two. If we use this instead of this, it would make two. Thank you. So we were just one shy. Antibody, thank you for the gifted subs, man. I appreciate you, dude. I appreciate your honor. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate thank it. You. Unfortunate that we just ended the game at uh, 3060 with an Ulamog and an Emrakul in hand, but I'll take it. Thank Let's you. open this treasure chest as a reward. For all you little sweeties. That was a pretty sweet deck. I, I, I appreciate... Oh, we got two treasure chests. You guys are going to get a treat. I'm not, however. I'm going to open a Memnarch. I don't think that's worth anything, right? I got to go to the old goat bots and, and give them a check. Memnarch. They're not even buying them at Solo. Crime and Punishment and Hellion. Sure. And one ring in this guy, huh? A, a, Kaji, a Kagi, Kajimaro and a Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. This is the six mana, like, new player Planeswalker. And then we have 35 play points, which is probably the best we could have asked for. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.